Hey dreamers! Hi! Today we're versing two of our favorites. Yep we are! Today we're versing Barbie Dreamhouse and Frozen. I can't wait, but before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell below. For sure, then you'll never miss a single update posted every Tuesday and Thursday. Alright, let's get versing. First up, we're versing Anna with Teresa. Awesome! I love Anna. As you all know, she's Frozen's main character tasked with saving her kingdom from a long eternal winter. Eek! <laughs> well, I love Anna too, especially since she's such a good friend and sister. So true! I love Anna's commitment to retrieving Elsa, even if that means risking her own life. Teresa from Barbie Dreamhouse is equally devoted to those around her. I really appreciate her cool, down-to-earth personality as well. Same! Teresa is always honest. And maybe sometimes a little too honest. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, honesty is always a good thing. Agreed. We're huge on sisterly love, so this first versus is going to Anna. Next, it's Elsa versus Barbie. Awesome! Elsa is a great follow-up since she's Anna's sister. But unlike Anna, Elsa has the power to produce ice and snow. For her. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally love having superpowers. OMG, same. Elsa's superpowers were not always to her benefit, but in the end, she learned how to use them with confidence. Always have confidence, am I right? For sure. <laughs> and there is no one from Dreamhouse that is just as confident than Barbie. I agree. Barbie is also an amazing big sister and of course the best girlfriend to Ken. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ken, he's so cute and kind with Barbie. Hmm, this is gonna be a tough versus. Elsa and Barbie are both so inspirational. Yeah, and I also love Barbie's style. She always knows how to dress so well for any occasion. Definitely. So we're gonna have to give this versus to Barbie. For our third versus, we're going with Hans and Raquel. Ooh, the antagonists. Hans is especially scary since he plotted to kill the Snow Queen. I know. Even if that meant power and recognition, he could have definitely earned it with the same kindness as Elsa. True that. Happiness doesn't need to be earned at the expense of others' happiness. Speaking of which, Raquel is also known as being pretty self-centered. Yeah, no wonder she isn't friends with Barbie anymore. Like Hans, Raquel fights jealousy, which often gets in the way of her friendships. Friends are supposed to support each other, not outdo each other. So true. This is also a really tough versus. Alyssa, what are you thinking? Ooh, let's give this versus to Hans. Our last versus today is a good one. It sure is. We're versing Ken and Olaf. Now, some might say, wait a minute, Ken? Olaf, Olaf's a snowman. <laughs> yep, but both characters definitely share some quality traits like love and positivity. Yeah, Ken is always supportive of not just Barbie, but his friends and his family. Even when things get crazy in the dream house, Ken keeps a cool attitude. And like Ken, Olaf is always friendly and considerate. No wonder he's such good friends with Anna. Okay, so all of our verses today have been pretty tough, but this one is super tough. It definitely is. For that reason, and because we both love Ken and Olaf, we're calling this versus a tie. That wraps up today's versus, fam. Aw, well, dreamers, if you enjoyed this versus as much as we did, leave us a like and a comment below. <laughs> totally. You know we love to hear your thoughts and ideas for future versus videos. Make sure to tune in next week for more dream mining fun. Yes, and until then, bye, dreamers. Keep on dreaming. Later. Do you have sunshine in your pocket? Got that good soul in your feet? Well, today's mashup has that and more. Barbie and Trolls is something magical. We all love Barbies. And we all love Trolls. Both dolls have come a long way, especially in the animated world. So we're taking characters from Barbie's Life in the Dream House series and mashing them up with the colorful gang from Trolls. First up, we have Barbie and Poppy. Barbie is the lead character who has a million personalities. She's got energy, she's got perfect hair, and she has a lot of BFFs. Poppy is the princess of the trolls. She's always making invitations and scrapbooking her adventures. Poppy also loves to sing and give tons of hugs. Both girls have a totally lit take on life and focus on the positives. This mash is a sweet scrapbooking success. Poppy! Next we have Ken and Branch. Ken is Barbie's total bae and soulmate. Always trying for perfection, he shows his love through making inventions. These inventions never work out, but Barbie doesn't seem to mind. Branch is paranoid, perfectly prepared for the worst. Hiding his true colors and his crush on Poppy, he watches life from a distance. <laughs> but even Branch couldn't resist his feelings forever. A good name for this best boy is Bren. 
Now we have Skipper and DJ Suki. Skipper is the oldest of the Barbie sisters. She's 16, a total techie, and loves to DJ. DJ Suki is one of Poppy's besties and master music maker. Her DJ skills always keep the trolls upbeat, and her parties are awesome. A most magical mashup is DJ Double X. Our fourth mashup is Stacy and Smidge. Stacy is Barbie's 11 year old sister. She's got spunk, she loves sports, and she loves to be organized. The doctor will see you now. Finally. Right after you finish filling out these forms. Ooh, and these, these, and these. Who doesn't? Just the other day, I organized all my shirts by color. OMG, can you do that for me? You know I will. <laughs> Smidge is a little troll with a big voice. Also a bit of a tomboy, Smidge is always working out even if it's in the middle of a dance party. So, a perfect name for this sporty spunkerella is Smacy. <laughs> Time to talk likable littles. Chelsea is Barbie's youngest sister. She's cute and curious and knows how to work it. Buzzbur is a tiny terrific troll who loves to giggle. He's basically a giant fluff of green hair with feet. <laughs> Clearly this combo is a curious cutie, Fuzzy. <laughs> Next up, Ryan and Creek. Ryan is totally in love with Barbie and always writing songs to prove it. A bit wrapped up in his own biz, he even carries around photos of himself. Creek is the zen and totally positive troll that everyone looks up to. Also a bit of a player, he flirts with Poppy, but ruins that vibe when he sells out the trolls to the Bergens. This guy is not so fly, Reek. Now it's time to look at some bad behaviors. Raquel is Ryan's twin sister and ex-bestie to Barbie. She is majorly jealous of Barbie's life and always tries to outdo her. But Raquel's plans to sabotage Barbie's life always goes wrong. Shep is a mad bad Bergen who is exiled from Bergentown. Embarrassed by the troll's escape during the annual event, she's out for revenge. Now give it up as we boo for this baddie, Chappelle. And last we have Teresa and Bridget. Teresa is one of Barbie's besties. She can be a little ditzy and seem silly, but Teresa is super friendly and will chat with anyone. Bridget is the super sweet scullery maid to the king of Bergentown. Hiding a secret crush for the king, she only sings about her feelings. Also not the most confident and a little emotional, she puts her trust in Poppy and her friends to make her dreams come true. The sweetest, silliest scullery maid we know, Bridisa. All right, dreamers, what did you think? Who was your favorite mash? Let us know in the comments below. I'm totally thinking Bredisa. I'm thinking Smacy. Today's versus video has an island kind of style. So think beachy thoughts and get ready for some fun in the sun. Moana versus Barbie Island Princess begins now. Let's start out with something we'd like to call island identification. Moana has lived on an island all her life. Learning the ways of her people, she was taught from day one how to eventually become the village's leader. Barbie, AKA Ro, is a young girl who gets shipwrecked on an island. Raised by a red panda, elephant, and peacock, she learns how to survive and even talk to animals. But which island girl connects most with her world? We're going with Moana. Totally, she's even besties with the ocean. Next up, we have the Battle of the Ballads. In How Far I'll Go, Moana sings about her struggles with the island daily life and wanting to know what's beyond the reef. And I need to know, Rose sings about finding her long lost family and finding love. Both are clearly having an identity crisis, but whose blues do you choose? Let us know in the comments below. Now it's time to talk Victoria's voyage. Moana hopes to fix her village's fish problem by sailing away to find the demigod Maui and return the heart of Te Fiti. Of course, she not only rocks this plan and becomes the new chief, but Moana even gets to finally sail away and explore with her villagers in the end. Well, Ro decides to leave her island with her animal friends and sail away with a prince to his kingdom. And not only does she fall in love and marry that prince, but she also gets reunited with her birth mother and discovers that she's a princess, named Rosella. Whoa, I don't know about you fans, but we're calling this one a definite tie. Okay, it's time to talk adorable animals. Moana's animal friends slash pets are Hey Hey, the not so smart rooster, and Pua, the precious floppy eared pig. 
both live with her and her family on the island. Rose animal friends are also her family and protectors. They're Soggy the red panda, Tika the baby elephant, and Azul the peacock. It's so hard to choose, they're all so cute! <laughs> well, what do you think fans? Which animal wins the most adorbs award? Let us know in the comments below. And lastly, let's take a look at the fabulous fashion. Moana is totally gorged in her island awesomeness. Her skirt, sash, and halter top are the perfect blend of colors for the beach life. And that necklace, love! <laughs> Ro also has the natural beauty vibe going. She wears a white sheet and single tropical flower in her hair and matching anklet. Simple and sweet. But which fashion is the island's freshest of them all? Moana. Moana. So what do you think, dreamers? Did you enjoy our Versus video today? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for joining us today. And don't forget to tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for more videos and DM fun. Until next time, see ya. Peace.